welcome back to the channel I hope you're doing well I'm gonna make a quick tutorial today on how to make a bootable DMG uh, USB for your MacBook now recently I worked on a MacBook 2012 I do I'll do a separate video uh, kind of guiding you step by step on uh, as to how I booted the Mac the issue was the uh, gray folder with a question mark and I was unable to uh, boot into the Mac but without further ado let's get this started so first I'm gonna plug in my USB and I have a couple of files on here just to show you and so I'm gonna right click here now make sure it's a 16 gig I've tried it with the 8 gig they're not exactly um, 8 it was like 7.3 and I had issues so I would advise a 16 gig now right click on that I'm gonna format and then I'm gonna click this right here restore device defaults older version of windows you might see a little uh, checkbox but make sure that's selected there default allocation size quick format of course we're gonna go okay and that's gonna take a quick second and it's gonna format and it'll tell you format complete there we are and format is complete so this part is done next let's make sure that our USB is partitioned properly for Mac so uh, let's hit start. I'm going to hit CMD for command prompt. Right click, run as admin, and you'll see the command window pop up here. And I am going to type disk part. So this is going to access our disk partition. So there it is, disk part. Then I'm going to hit or type rather list disk. And these are all the disk drives listed here. And you'll notice that, you know, it starts from zero. Um, rule of thumb I usually use the size allocation so it's 14 GB it's actually a 16 GB drive but you know it's never exactly on the dot the way that they're designed with the uh, technology so obviously I'm not gonna mess with any of these big boys here those are my primary drive so 14 GB this that that's what I'm gonna use so I'm going to in my case I'm going to select disk 3 the 14 gig one and that's selected then I'm gonna clean so it's going to wipe it and now I'm going to convert that to GPT um, partition for Mac. That's done. And after I do that, I'm going to hit create partition primary. So make that the primary partition and it succeeded. And then you can go ahead and exit edit that. And that's done. And you'll notice if you go back. Um, to the drive here obviously Windows is kind of confused as to what's happening because we are setting this up for Mac next step of course we're gonna go over to Google and we're going to search for trans Mac so this is the software we're gonna use um, to make the bootable USB I'm gonna go to tech spot here right here and I'm just gonna click download now so this is gonna download the software and you're gonna go ahead and install that so once you have TransMac installed, you're going to run it. So I'm obviously not going to read the view readme and it's going to launch TransMac for the first time. It is a trial. Don't worry about that. Um, it'll, you know, take 10 seconds every time that you open it for it to load, which I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to bug you at all. I'm going to hit run and it's going to open this web page, which I'm not interested in right now. And this is the Lexar USB that I'm working with. So, You'll notice that when I, if, if you click it, it says no Mac volume is found because we have to set up a Mac volume. We'll go back, right click, I'm going to go format disk for Mac. We've got to do this again. And it's going to say, do you want to? I'm going to say, yeah, yes, of course, leave all that as it is. Uh, untitled, I leave everything as default and that's going to do its thing. If you don't run it as admin, so if you don't right click on trans mac or if the first time you launch it and and it, it opens and you don't have admin permissions it it may ask you you have to restart trans mac as admin but i already started it as admin and that's why i didn't get that message already the next step probably the most important step of this tutorial is you have to make sure that you have a bootable DMG uh, Mac file. They are available online. They're a bit tricky to find. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I worked on a 2012 MacBook Pro, the 15 inch Retina, the A1398 model. 
um, and I was able to find it online and when I make the um, second video on as to how I did the, how I restored the Mac step by step then I will put a link in the description or I'll link it to my Google Drive so whoever needs help can can find that and download that so I'm gonna right click again on the Lexer USB I'm gonna hit restore with disk image hit yes and I'm gonna browse to my computer as to where it is it's going to be on my desktop and if it doesn't show up here when it says disk image file I'm gonna hit all files and there it is Mac OS high Sierra I'm gonna hit open and I'm gonna hit OK here and it's gonna tell me that's gonna format this is gonna take two to three minutes so uh, be patient with that when you're doing it I'm just gonna let it do its thing let it do its thing till it's finished and once that's complete it'll say restore complete I'm gonna hit OK and if you go back here I don't even see the, the drive anymore why because it's formatted for Mac so Windows doesn't even pick it up on this, of course, if you run the command uh, for disk part again, but we're not going to do that. So that's basically how you would create a portable USB for Mac. And in the next video, I will do a step by step as to how I use this to restore and uh, finally reinstall Mac OS. And as always, if you found this uh, useful or helpful, uh, leave me your comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool content. And of course, stay well, be safe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.